really shit weather today and I was planning to make another video, but I have to cancel that. So I thought, why don't I make a little tour of the cabin? That is the name of the place. I uh, rent this cabin for the winter. In summer, they rent it out to tourists on Airbnb. So you could stay here if you want to. Go look it up. It's a cabin in Fossudler. So this cabin is located on the south coast of Iceland, uh, very close to the famous Seljalandsfoss. You might have uh, heard about that waterfall, or you might have seen it. And it's at the beginning of the valley of Thorsmörk, which uh, you might have seen in other videos. It's one of my favorite places in Iceland. So it's really nice to be right next to it. You might have heard about Iceland not having a lot of trees. Well, this cabin has plenty. There's like a little patch of trees surrounding the cabin, which is really nice because it gives you this remote feeling as if you're somewhere in the middle of the woods, but, uh, but not really. So sometimes I have the sheep coming over to the fence and saying hi in the morning, pretty nice. So you don't feel alone, but uh, today, unfortunately they're not there. One of the most amazing features of this cabin is the view over there. That is Eyjafjallajökull, the famous volcano that erupted in 2010 and put all air traffic on hold in Europe. Hold on, stop the video. That was filmed a couple of days ago and like it was really yellowish light. It wasn't really doing the view justice. Today's a lot better to show you the view. That big mountain is Eyjafjallajökull. If you can see it, a white line that is Seljalandsfoss. And we have Vestmanair. I made a video about that, you should check that out. And let me take you to the hidden feature of this cabin. I gotta go through these trees to get there. But, here we go. This cute little river leads up to a hidden waterfall that probably nobody knows about. Okay, okay, it's not a very big waterfall. But who can say they have a waterfall in their backyard? I do. Of course, you want to see the inside of the cabin. Well, here we go. As you can see, this little hallway is mostly used for storage. So let's not focus too much on that. Oh, I got some cute little photos on the door just to make it a bit nicer. All right, let's move on to the better part. Let's have a quick little view. The main area. Isn't this super cute? So after seven months living in a van, like this is an upgrade. This is like living in a mansion. Like seriously guys, like this is my couch and it's not my bed. I have a couch that is not my bed. No more working in coffee shops all the time. I got my own desk. Oh yeah. I have to admit, I still go to coffee shops sometimes, you know, it's nice there. Kitchen on the other side. This is something typically Icelandic. You'll find this almost in every Icelandic home. It's a nice little frame that just says, God bless this home. I even have a guest room with bunk beds. I can have friends now. Yeah! A toilet and a shower. Are you kidding me? No more showering in swimming pools or peeing in bottles in the middle of the night in the van. Yeah! And the sleeping room up there where all the sleep magic happens. So I gotta climb up the stairs to get to the sleeping area over here and I can look at and admire my landy all day long from a warm place oh. don't get me wrong I still love van life but after six seven months uh, mostly living in the van in Iceland in winter I deserve a little break um, I'm gonna enjoy this cabin to the fullest and I'm happy to call this my home base in Iceland during the winter and maybe many winters. It is time for me to go to bed in this oh, comfortable bed. It's so nice. Anyway, um, if you want to support me then don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos and tell all your friends about how awesome uh, my videos are if that's what you think uh, they are. Anyway. Thanks for watching and I'll, I'll see you around. Oh, yes. Ah, the good life. Oh, yeah.